Today's video is going to be a quick guide on how to export your music files onto a USB drive so that when you turn up to your gig and plug it into a CDJ or perhaps it's an all-in-one controller such as the Pioneer DJ RX2 or RX3, you can see all of the waveforms on display, all of the track information, and therefore you can use all of the advanced functions such as looping, quantizing, or if you're using CDJ3000s, the key shift function as well. Let's get straight into it. Now, when it comes to selecting USBs, I typically use SanDisk ones for all of my music. Now for this demonstration, I am going to assume that you are using Pioneer DJ equipment. So therefore you need a copy of Recordbox DJ software downloaded for free from the Recordbox website. You can of course do something similar with Denon DJ equipment as well using their engine software. But for the purposes of this demonstration today, we are going to be focusing on Pioneer only. Now the great thing with Recordbox DJ is that if you're using it to export tracks to a USB that are fully analyzed, you do not need a subscription. It is completely free of charge. Once you've downloaded Recordbox onto your laptop or your computer, you can then go ahead and plug in your USB thumb drive. First and foremost, before you start transferring any music, make sure that your USB is formatted to FAT32 using your disk utility or system settings. Now, I don't know what FAT32 actually is, but in order for it to work with CDJs or an all-in-one system by Pioneer, it just has to be formatted in this way. So when you open Recordbox for the first time, Time, of course it will be blank you will need to add some music and that couldn't be easier simply go to where your tracks are downloaded that's one way of doing it click on the downloads and then drag and drop the file into the collection uh, the collection is basically all tracks okay the second way you can add tracks to Recordbox is by using the button in the bottom left corner which is the sync manager now this is synchronized with iTunes so if you use iTunes to formulate your playlists you can then sync across exactly the playlists as they appear in iTunes into Recordbox and they're just mirrored across really. Now Recordbox will automatically when you add tracks to it analyze them so it will come up with this waveform at the top. Now just quickly there are some different views here if you don't want to see the waveform you can click full browser and that will just show you a list of tracks. You can as well have two players as well. So if you want to do a test mix on the laptop, then you can absolutely do that. But for the most part, one player is usually enough. And Recordbox brings up the waveform. It brings up key information about the key of the track, the BPM, etc. And this is really, really good before you are exporting your tracks to USB because you can have a little go through the waveform if you wanted to. You can make sure that all of the uh, bars line up quite nicely. So you can see here 1.1 bar. Uh, the red markers on these waveforms indicate when a new bar has started. And this enables you really to customize your tracks as well. So if you wanted a cue point to start on the first beat, you can just click A down here, which is great. Um, if you wanted it to start on the, the breakdown, which is at the end of 16 bars, you can of course add a second cue point. You can do as much or as little as you want. If you are new to Recordbox, you might want to also do some playlists. So you can see here, I've got a few playlists. So I've got Warm Up House, I've got some acapellas there. Um, if you want to add a new playlist, just click on the playlist option and just click the plus button so that will add um, a new playlist you can rename it you can drag and drop whatever tunes you want into that so have a go at doing that first and foremost when you've got a few songs in a playlist and you think you might be ready to export onto a usb simply click on the sync manager here make sure your usb is plugged in by the way um, you will know if the program is reading your usb because under devices here you can see that the USB, whatever you've named it, appears. So in order to pull tracks over to the, um, to the USB, click on the sync manager, and then you will see here, I'm synced with iTunes, but in the middle box, this is all the tracks that are in Recordbox that I have. Now, 
For this particular device, what I want to bring across is my warm up house playlist. First and foremost, make sure that this box is checked up here. So synchronize playlist with a device. That's in the top right and that sort of brings, that lights up the, uh, the record box box. So uh, that actually was a mistake on my part. But yeah, simply click the playlist that you want. So I want warm up house on there. I am going to want all of my uh, warm up mixes because that's something that I want to transfer across. So um, I've got my continuous mixes is what I call them. I want that on there. And I want this to be a very house music um, USB. So I'm going to put all of my house on there. Now within house as a folder, I have lots of different playlists. So I've got my house, overall house, tech deep house, minimal, chilled disco. So in particular, I want all of these tracks on here. So I'm gonna put house like so. And then all you need to do is click on the arrow. And then that will check the playlists and it's moving them across. So what you can see at the bottom here is the exporting box or window has opened. So it does take a little bit of time for it to do this, so please bear with it. The great thing is as well is that all of your cue points, all of your saved loops, whatever you have set up in Rekordbox in the program will also be copied across so it's ready for you when you plug that USB stick into your decks for the first time. And that is all there is to it. It is pretty simple and it's pretty flexible depending on your style of DJing, how you set up your playlists and how you set up your cue points. You can literally do this in any way that you want. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know how you get on in the comments. And if you are thinking of using Rekordbox in export mode, but you still want to take your laptop along to gigs like I do because you're DJing for longer than an hour or two hour set, then check out that video up there next because I've got some handy tips for you and I'll see you next time.